Hey, welcome to High Lecture Online, and now I'm going to show you how to take the derivative of the tangent of x and the cotangent of x. And here we're going to have to use the uh, quotient rules and the product rules as, as uh, the, the problems develop. So let's see how we do this. Um, let me put the equal sign over here. Okay, so first of all, we're going to rewrite the tangent of x as the sine over the cosine. So that's the same as saying we're going to take the derivative of the sine of x over the cosine of x. And then if we take the derivative of that, we have to use the quotient rule. So this is equal to the denominator, cosine of x, times the derivative of the numerator. Now we have learned that the derivative of the sine is equal to the cosine, so this is the cosine of x minus the numerator, which is the sine of x, times the derivative of the denominator, which we have learned is now the minus the sine of x, and then the whole thing is divided over the denominator squared, which means the cosine squared of x. All right, so in the numerator now, cosine times cosine is cosine squared, so we have cosine squared of x minus times a minus, that becomes a plus, sine times sine becomes sinus squared of x, all divided by the cosine squared of x. And of course, we should remember that the cosine squared of x plus the sine squared of x is equal to 1, so this is equal to 1 over the cosine squared of x. And then we should remember that 1 over the cosine is equal to the secant. And so 1 over cosine squared is therefore equal to the secant squared. And so this is equal to the secant squared of x, which means that the d dx, the derivative of the tangent of x, is equal to the secant squared of x. All right, now. Looks like the cotangent of x will be very similar to this, so let's do that. So this can be written as the d dx of the cosine over the sine. So this would be the cosine of x over the sine of x. And then again, we use the quotient rule here. So this is equal to the denominator, which is the sine of x, times the derivative of the numerator. And the derivative of the cosine of x is the minus sine of x, so minus sine of x minus the numerator, which is the cosine of x, times the derivative of the sine of x, which is the cosine of x, all divided by the denominator squared, which is the sine squared of x. Okay, so this is equal to um, minus the sine of x squared, because sine times sine is sine squared, uh, minus the cosine squared of x, all divided by the sine squared of x. Okay, now you say, well, what do we do now? Well, I kind of want to make it look like this, and I can do that by factoring out the negative 1 from the numerator. So I'm going to do that next. So minus 1 times, that turns this into the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x, all divided by the sine squared of x. And then again, this becomes 1, and so we can write this as minus 1 over the sine square of x, and 1 over the sine of x is the cosecant of x, so therefore 1 over the sine squared of x is the cosecant square of x, and the negative in front, that means is equal to minus the cosecant square of x. That means that the d dx, the derivative with respect to x of the cotangent of x, is indeed equal to minus the cosecant squared of x. And that's how you take the derivative of the tangent and the cotangent of x. All right, let's go for the last two on the list on our next video.